channel. So I just wanted to show you my Fidelity Active Trader Pro setup, what I use when I day trade. I'm going to just do a quick five minute video just to show what specifically I like to have. I have two other videos showing how to create the chart and how to like add RSI. But the other things I left out, which I, I forgot to include, so I wanted to add them is I think it's really important when you're day trading, you always want to know what the view app is. And you should always have a watch list of the stocks that you trade. So when I do this over here, I have a watch list that you can create. And I have like stocks that I typically trade, but you can add them and show the last price, the change, VWAP. So you don't have to, you know, be scrolling through, you see a stock moving and you could see where the support would be, which is really nice. So let me show you really quick how to add watch list. So you go under quotes and watch list up here. You click watch list. And then from here, my watch list already appears, but you wouldn't have all of these added. You would have to first go to manage and then you can add and remove columns. And what that means is that you are going to add and remove the symbol, the last, the change, the VWAP, the volume and et cetera. So if you go to add and remove columns, it'll click up to like this and then you can click in the boxes, which ones you want to be included up here in this top row. So what I do is always make sure that VWAP is clicked off. And then when you click it, it'll show up here. Now I had to drag it over. So sometimes you have to come over here if you added a new box and you'll just click up here and you can drag it over and then you can drag it all the way to the left. And I'm just showing this cause you can change the size of the box and that's how I made it the size it was in the bottom right corner. So I'll do that. And then I dragged it over here and that'd be my watch list and you can add all your symbols to it as well. So a good thing to do is, you want to add the stocks that you normally watch or the stocks that you want to watch that day. So you click manage, you click uh, edit, edit watch list or create new watch list. Let's just do create new watch list to make it easier. You could type this as, I don't know, ETFs that you want to watch, or it could be just moving stocks. So just put stocks and then you could add any stock you want. So whether it was like PLTR or it was like Neo, and then you would hit create and that would create the box for you. So it's a little quick way to create a watch list and on that watch list offers a lot of advantages because you can have the VWAP listed. You could put the last price, the change. So you can see is it negative or positive for the day. And then when it comes to a watch list, I always believe you should have two and you should have the indices listed too. And I like to have the spy, the Dow Jones industrial average, QQQ, the NASDAQ and the NDX is the 100 NASDAQ. So it's hundred companies in the NASDAQ. And it gives you an idea of how the overall market is doing. So to do that, it's the same thing. Quotes and watch list, click watch list, and then you go to manage on the top right, and then you go to create new watch list, and then you just add them as you would. So I can make this like indices, and then you would just type in QQQ, you would type in the SPY, and then you see the prices start coming up, and then you would just create it. And then it'll pop up just like it just did there. And that's how I do the watch list. Now, the other part of my setup that I really like to have is I like to have two trading symbols. And I'll make this video on an actual day where you can actually see the trading boxes. But I like to have two trading boxes open next to each other. And we'll, get, we'll make another video specific to that. And then I like to have, when you make a trade, you need this area, which is your closed positions. Your closed positions is when you buy and sell something or you short and you cover, it'll show you know, what you made or what you lost. So I have that top right up here and then I have the news. So if anything is moving, you can specifically see that if like, let's say AMC stock was moving, you can see specific news that is playing. Now to get to the news, you go to the top bar, you click under news and research, and then you click news. And they have all different things that you can select from. And I haven't really used much of these other ones, to be honest but they have screeners and stuff. And I'm not really sure how to use the screeners. I think there's a, there's better, there's better things on trader view and different screening options you could use. But for our purposes, you click on news. And what's really important about this is when you click news, oh, it's, it's coming up because I already have it up. That's why what you want to do is you want to link the chart. You want to link the chart to the actual table. So what that means is you see how this is blue over here. I have linked my chart to my news. So when I type in PLTR, watch my chart on the top left, it's going to change to PLTR. 
So see how PLTR changed to PLTR right there in the chart and in the news. And if you were to click here, you can go through. And if I clicked Amazon real quick, because Amazon was moving, it changes the news. And I can take a quick look. Is anything happening? Is there any news? It shows the date and it shows the time. So when I'm day trading, I like my chart up here. I like my closed positions to see am I making money or losing money when I buy and sell a security. And then my news up here so I can see what's going on. And I love watching the indices just to get a quick glance. All I'm looking for is to see is the market positive today or is it red today? And that gives me an idea whether I want to go short or long. And then I have my watch list of what I specifically want to watch at the open or during the time. And you can make different watch lists and you can create anything you want. So that's just a quick video on how I have my setup with my directed trade up here, which we'll show in another video. You can show your all accounts. So when you day trade, the positions will show up. And I believe I have another video that shows that as well. And then it's good just to always have like your set up your one minute, your five minute, your daily, your one month, three months, six month, and one year, just so you can get a better picture of Amazon overall. And then if these are in your way, you just click and it'll just cover it. So now you can actually see what's going on. So this is what I use, and it shows the three month year. And you click the six month, now you have the six month year. In my previous video, I show how to set this up, so definitely please refer to that. And I love using EMA lines, the nine, the 20, and the 200. And in my previous video, I break them down, so definitely refer to those. They're under the playlist Fidelity Active Trader Pro. And this is definitely something you could be looking at, because look, Amazon is trading below the 200 now. So we'll see if it's going to go on a downtrend now. But it's definitely something to be looking at. And I, I just like having my closed positions, my news right here, my watch list, my indices. Any trade I make will show here at the times that it entered and exited. And then my trading boxes to make quick trades. So Active Trader Pro is definitely something that's very useful. And I think it's good to trade with. And if you feel like you learned something, please subscribe. And if you want me to elaborate on something else on Active Trader Pro, this is the this is the main platform I use to trade, so definitely reach out to me.